Okay, hi, this is Mr. Roche. We're continuing with um, implementing the mouse um, listener functionality. What we want to do is we want to play the game when the mouse is clicked, basically. Okay, so I think what I think we're going to do is, um, or what I'm going to do, um, and maybe you have your own ideas, is I'm going to basically going to add a kind of a thing called play game. So what happens is when you click the mouse, Okay, you get the mouse event which has the X and Y coordinates of where you click. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send that mouse event down to play game. And then like if the computer's playing then you could you could do it differently or whatever, but but for right now I think what's going to happen is we can do it this way, okay? So this so so what happens is mouse click is going to call play game and then play game is going to kind of play the game for you. So Let's do that. Okay, so I'm in I'm in um, I'm in Penta Game Board. Okay, and what's going on is we got our mouse click, and then what I'm going to do is as soon as you get the mouse click, I'm going to go um, I'm going to play the game, and I'm actually just going to send E the mouse event right on down to it, and then. I'm gonna call a thing called a repaint and redraw the um, redraw the board. Okay. So after um, and and this is sort of good in that like when you have these things like mouse clicked and stuff like that, I don't think you want to have tons and tons of logic and code in it. Um, so it's very clear what's gonna happen. You click. We're gonna play something and then we're gonna repaint basically. Okay. So what I have to do then is I have to make up a play game. So I'm gonna go public. Okay, void. It doesn't have to return anything. I say play game, and it has to catch the mouse event. Okay, so then what are we gonna do? Okay, what we want to do is actually we want to call up, you know, what was done in Square. So. Um, um, to figure out if we clicked on a, I want to find out the square that you clicked on. That's that's sort of what I need to know. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like this and say something like I'm gonna have um, square like um, you know. Square clicked. Um, let me see. Square s. Okay, and it's going to equal. Um, let's see. Um, I guess we're going to need something like like get. Like find square or something like that. Okay. Um, for e dot get x and e dot get y. Okay. And uh, we're gonna have to write that. It's something else we're gonna have to write. Okay. So we're gonna add find square onto our list of stuff. So we're gonna have to, uh, you know. Um, Work on. So let's see. So let's see, like find square right here. Okay, just to keep track of stuff. But back to the code. Okay, so we're gonna have something that finds what square we're on. Okay, and then what we're gonna do basically is we're gonna say if s dot get state equals equals um pentamine empty then what we're going to do is we're going to set it to the current turn state and we already know what it is like we already know whether it's blackstone or whitestone 
So we're just going to go s dot s dot set state is going to equal um, the current term. Okay, and then we're just going to like change the term. We're just going to go this dot. change term. And it's going to flip the turn on us. Okay. So that's not so hard. Um, except that we have to find whatever square we're on. Okay. So that's, that's the kind of thing that we're going to have to work on. Okay. So what I need then is I need a public um, square returning function or method called find square. And okay, and it's going to receive um int, which we're going to call mouse x here, and it's going to call an int called mouse um y. Okay, so okay, and then and then it has to return some kind of square. So I'm going to make like um a square in here called you know the click square on square or something like that and i'm going to set it equal to um null or empty right now okay and then i'm going to do some programming and i'm going to return clicked on square okay and what I want to do is I want to run through all the squares and the one that the, that the, that the coordinates are going to be on is going to, is going to, um, you know, um, it's going to show up. Okay. So, so that's pretty good. Okay. So, so what we should do is is get that figured out. So how do you do find square? So find square basically has to run through all the squares. And call, you know, you clicked on me, the thing we wrote. Clicked me. And if that's true, then that's the one we're looking for, okay? So how do we run through all the squares? We've done this in a bunch of places, but what we have done it on in, um, like in pain component, this is a place where we did it. We took all the squares with this, with the nested for loop. So I'm just going to run up there and get that nested for loop, and I'm going to go like this. I'm going to get all of them. There they are. Okay, so if I do this, it'll run through all the things in the board. And then I'm just going to ask like an if statement. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go if the board row column dot. And here's the thing. You go, you clicked me. And we're going to send it mouse x and mouse y. That's cool. We have to use the same coordinate system, okay? If that's true, and if it equals, you can do it this way, you can equals equals true. If you clicked on me, then what do we want to do? We want to say, we want to say draw me. What we want to say is clicked on square. equals the board row and column. We know who it is. That's the thing. We found this clicked on square. Okay. What's going to so it's going to run through there, pop it up back here. See it? And then if get state equals empty, then do this. Okay. Else you could do something like this. You could say else um, 
and say something like, see if it's not empty, then you can't click on the square. So you could use like J option pane, which we have done in Java one. Let me uh, organize import uh, Um, it'll say show message dialog. And I think I have to say the parent component here really is the J frame, but but so I don't I don't know who the J frame is. Like I can't I uh, this the the panel doesn't know who the J frame is, so I think you can just say no. Um So you gotta do that, right? Um, yep, something like that. Okay, and then like, like there's also like a, a kind of a thing here, like if it comes back, um, if S um, is not equal to null, there's this possibility that, that, that this whole thing could be like it missed and you'd have to handle that case too. So you do something like this and you say else um, and do this. And you'd say maybe like, you didn't click on a square. And that would either show you like something goes really, really crazy or not. And that is where we are. Let's let's review real quick. So keep everybody on track here. Um, okay, so what did we do? We added some methods to Pente board. Okay, we were dealing with mouse clicked. Uh, we added, we implemented a mouse listener. Okay, and um, maybe we should we should um, add that here too. If I can, I guess this is. Uh, let me see. Oh, that's great. Look at that. <laughs> okay. So we'll let that go for a second. Um, I'm going to have to do some reformatting here, clearly. But, but you get the point. And so what we did is we added the mouse click as the mouse listener. We added play game. So mouse click calls play game. Play game calls find square. And that's where we are. Okay. So let's, um, let's test this out and see if it works. So here goes. Boom. Okay, we got our board and it should be white and then it should be black and then it should be white and it should be black and then it should be white and then if we hit here, it should pop up a dialogue. Let's see if it does that. There you go. See? Okay, you can't go to the space of the stone. That's good. Black, white. Can't click on the space of the stone. That's good. Let's see if we like go way over here. You didn't click on a square. It seems to know like everything. It's awesome. Okay, so that's very good. Um, and then basically what we can do is we can like work to like play the game next time. Next thing we're gonna have to do is um, cover um, captures. So if I did something like this, we should capture. Like these have to get removed. You know, maybe we're gonna have to make like a scoreboard and stuff like that, but that's pretty good. So if we get that done by Monday. We are we are really doing well. So let's see if we can do this, and I will talk to you later.